Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Barisangye Sumwike, has emphasized the importance of accessible road network in driving economic development and fostering national growth. The minister made this statement during the official flag of ceremony for the construction of Access Road from the judges' quarters in Katanke district. Barisa Wike highlighted that his administration is committed to providing basic infrastructure aimed at improving the standard of living for residents in the FCT. FCT correspondent Naomi Olerbi has details. Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Barista Nyesom Wike, stressed that a good road network is essential for boosting economic activities and nation building. We will not rest until we see that all the districts are all connected with good roads. It is very, very important that one thing that makes a city clear is good roads, good network of roads. It makes a city very clear. And as I can say, because people know that this road has been awarded, I can tell you that if you want to go and buy land now, it has carotted more than 500 percent. That is what good roads can do. There are a lot of economic activities that will go on here. So I think that for a city like Abuja, we have no choice but to continue to provide the basic infrastructure like good network of roads. The minister assured contractors that adequate provisions have been made to ensure the timely completion of the project by May 2025. He further stated that payments would be processed promptly once invoices are submitted, ensuring smooth project execution. These rules are very key for us in order to reduce the hardship our people are facing. And that's the mandate Mr. President has given that every district in Abuja, every district in Abuja, before we create new districts, the ones that have been created should have the basic infrastructure that cities are supposed to have. The minister also gave assurances to residents that his administration is determined to complete all projects awarded under his tenure before the end of his time in office. Naomi Oleribe, ADBN News.